with with I don't like about Disney touching anything is the fact that they make everything too child friendly and it takes the tension away from me. Uh, same thing with Star Wars. Oh, I how, do. Oh, how far they fallen? Yeah, uh, with some of the shows that they're coming out, I'm kind of like it's a hit and miss for me. The Mandalorian. What do you think? The Mandalorian. I haven't watched it yet. Okay. That's how much I don't care because. Okay. Because when the the trilogy, when the new trilogy came out, I liked the first one, episode seven, even though it was kind of the same thing of episode four. It's kind of a sort of, it depends on how you view it. It's either a remake of episode four or with some new tweaks. You know, people feel feel like that. I actually feel like that. So that's just me. And then episode eight came in and then they fucked that up. And then episode nine came in. They definitely fucked that up. Uh, I didn't even think about this. Did you see episode seven, eight, and nine? Of Star Wars? Couldn't be bothered. Honestly, they, they, they've fallen so hard ever since fucking the mid-2000s, I'll be honest. Well, okay. So, have you seen the original trilogy? Yeah. Oh, fuck. I, Yo, I, what do you watch? <laughs> I don't... Like I said, I rarely, I barely watch movies, all right? What do you... Oh, 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 okay, what episodes... Let me, let me say this. For, so, for Star Wars, right? I'm There's, sorry if I'm being a terrible guest. It, no, it, no, and you're perfectly fine. It's just... It, it's kind of hard because... This is interesting because I always wanted to talk to someone who doesn't watch a lot of superhero movies, and now I'm experiencing it. <laughs> <laughs> it shows yeah i'm kind of like damn i can't say this because he doesn't get it and i want to say this but he's not gonna know it i mean oh, just, i mean i mean just say for just for for the audience sake all right it doesn't even have to be me about okay, me look, let, let me put it this way so you know what the prequels are yeah of course and the original trilogy yeah and then there's the new trilogy yeah of course okay what have you watched mostly okay so watch the prequels and then, oh, the yeah, the original. Yeah, those are not the original. The prequels came after the original. Okay, hold on. I, okay, so I watched the original. Okay, so obviously I watched the originals when I, way back in the mid two thousands. Oh yeah, when kids, obviously. Yeah, and then <laughs> I don't fucking remember. Oh, if you don't, no, it's just a yes or no question. You watched the prequels. Did you see any of the new ones? Just uh, yes or no? No, can't be bothered, honestly. Okay, uh, let me ask you. Since you didn't watch it, why didn't you watch it? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Just, just like seeing like how much the originals, just seeing how the new trilogy compares to the originals, you can just see how far the franchise has pretty much fallen ever since Disney bought Lucas Films. The reason why I don't like the new trilogy, and I'll say this for the audience. Right. The reason why I don't like the new trilogy was because they didn't have a plan. When Lucas did the original trilogy, 46, I believe, right? Yes, 46. You know, he had a plan. Mm-hmm. For all three movies. Yeah. When he did the prequels, he had a plan for all three movies. He, he was trying to show how Anakin became Darth Vader. The new one, I found out that they improvised all three movies. The lady who, I, I forgot her name, the lady who was in charge from Disney to, to make these three movies, right? To hire, to be the one to hire the directors, the producers, to make all this. Turns out they didn't have a plan. They were just like, oh, we'll just do one movie at a time and figure it out along the way. And I was like, well, then no one of your movies sucked. I was like, because you basically improvised the whole thing. And not even that, they brought in new directors. They had J.J. Uh, Abrams do the first one. That's why the first one was okay. Then the second one, they brought in another director and right. then he kind of messed it up so a lot of people are kind of iffy about it like some people like it some people don't but i'm on the i hate it side and then the new one came out i yeah. can't even make an excuse for that that's actually i did a bit of like you know digging while you, well while you were talking yeah i did watch the original trilogy and i well i did actually also watch the the prequels the phantom menace attack of the clones and revenge of the sith and that mm-hmm. was like the last decent good star wars before the the next trilogy. No, yeah. Uh, uh, the first six, George Lucas, who made it, was involved with all of them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. That and then the like, new ones, he had nothing to do with them. That was all Disney. That was all. Yeah, that was all Disney. And you, and you could just like see how much it's fallen, really. Yeah, and now you can kind of tell they're trying to make it up with the shows. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's just like what? Why? Because it's Star Wars, so they're cashing out on it. And here's the thing. I, this is me. This is why I feel like Hollywood is getting generic. Because I want to get back to that topic. Because right. this is what it's about, right? And honestly, the superhero stuff, Star Wars, that does have a major effect on Hollywood. Because well, this is why I'm saying it's generic. That's all there is, in my opinion. You see a lot more about sci-fi stuff like Star. Wars wars or superhero movies but you don't really get a lot of creative movies that involve like heist you know or like something that's like a drama you know what i mean or maybe something based off a true story sometimes anymore yeah uh, yeah you're absolutely right like you and- you rarely see those anymore. And let me make this very clear. I already know someone's going to bitch at me and say this. Okay, yes, movies like that still do exist. I'm not saying they don't. But you have to catch them like on Netflix. 